Hey there. This is the beginning of a story. A story about a group of people who are taking a program called RDNA. My name is Byron, and I spend a lot of time in this position right here. I'll be one of your narrators on this journey, along with some other folks from the program. My friends and I are going to spend the next nine months trying to decipher what we've gotten ourselves into, and we're taking you with us. However, at its core, our DNA seems like a leadership program. A leadership program that teaches the raw skills we need to create a different way of life. Within our DNA, there are four sub-programs. Native Eyes, which concentrates on nature connection. Cultural Mentoring, which focuses on mentoring as a learning technology. The Essentials Program, which includes content from the previously mentioned programs, but also includes permaculture design. And finally, a youth program. Most of this journal will follow the perspective of the Essentials Program. So let's get started. I think this is the sixth year that we've run this in different, different facets of itself. And uh, every year it's so exciting to have a new group of people. So I'm really grateful for the people and that we're going to go on this journey together. I'm very much looking forward to the journey with all of you, as my wife has already said. Yeah, it's just really something to see through the eyes of my two-year-old here who, as far as she's concerned, this is how it is every day, everywhere. <laughs> you know, that people have gathered in the spirit of this, and this is, this is what's always happening. Now. Oh yeah, that's just how life is. It's such an honor to share this, uh, this village with everybody for the next nine months, and really excited to get to know you all. To me, our DNA is the coming home of lineages back the earth again. You know, whether it's the tracking and nature connection piece or whether it's the permaculture piece or the cultural mentoring piece, those are all tied together and they all come from the same rootstock, which is our indigenous ancestry worldwide as a common universal ancestral pattern, people living in harmony with the earth. Well, it's the first day and we've got nine months coming up and I don't know what's going to happen, <laughs> but that's the joy of it, you know. It's like, I mean, I expect to obviously learn some skills, you know, because I'm setting aside the time and I've got good teachers and I'm going to do the work, but I think a lot more is going to happen than that, you know. There's, there's stuff that I have no way of imagining that's going to happen. Oh, what am I expecting on the first day? Uh, well... I don't really know, to be honest. It's a very interesting um, sort of approach that the, that the whole thing's been, been following along. We're sort of being um, guided very gently in a, in a very positive way. And yet there's an element of uh, mystery to the whole thing. Our first day started out in the meadow before we ended up in Point Reyes National Park where we, the Essentials folks, ended up beginning our nature connection journey. That journey started when the Native Eyes team helped us learn how to expand our senses through the art of questioning. Asking us questions instead of giving us straight answers made us think through processes. The next day, we ended up in the garden. We learned about soil, composting, and planting. We not only got to hear some theory, we got into the practice. This program looks to be about doing, not just talking, which is pretty refreshing. Last week, we heard a lot about how we're creating a village. This week, we're already talking about creating subgroups called clans. I guess they're kind of like work groups. It's just so different that I had to track down one of the instructors for a bit more perspective on the whole village thing. When we talk about the village as a container for sharing permaculture skills or regenerative design skills, we're not actually talking about creating a real village. We're talking about analyzing the village as model and what roles did different aspects of the village life play in, in, the, in the learning process of, of the individual members within the village. The village as a learning tool is a better way to look at it. Um, and I would say, maybe as an educational tool. Um, we, we have sort of a, a one-track mindset about what is education. You know, it means there's an expert 
conveying expertise to those who have not yet caught up. In the village concept, you're basically saying education is really about leading the light out of, of the individual participant and that every person within that circle called village has a role to play in the leading out of the light of every other person within the village. So it's a different framework. It's like it should be obvious, but it wasn't totally obvious to me because, I mean, as Americans we grow up being individuals, you know, rugged individuals that can, I can do it myself, thank you, and I don't need any help, you know. And there's some things that can't happen without a group, you know, that just can't happen. Uh, because, you know, you can't think of everything yourself and uh, other people have skills you don't have and things like that. So a village is like the way to go. On our first day in week two, we broke up into our clans to head out to a huge swath of wilderness called Cloverdale Ranch. Our clans include members from three of the RDNA programs, Native Eyes, Essentials, and Cultural Mentoring. We spent four hours wandering the land, getting to know our new clans, and getting further into nature connection. The next day, we started a site analysis of our southern campus. Each clan did a separate analysis. It was interesting how nature connection really helps when you're trying to analyze what is happening on the landscape. <laughs> 